Yo guys, what is good? Girl413 here back in today, guys. And today, guys, I'm just going to be drifting around and I'm going to be talking about the... some speculation about the next update. So, there's an update coming next Wednesday. Now, the time of the update release is actually unknown as, you know, probably I'm going to assume it's going to be... 10 p.m. Eastern or 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time, kind of like how the last update was. But we don't know exactly what all is going to be part of the update. What we do know, though, is that it will have the next car pack. And the biggest news, though, is that with the next car pack, there is going to be something that has never been seen before. And speaking of the devil, Johnny Wanna is the person that said that. As you guys see off my screen, he is right in front of me. <laughs> and anyway, though, so, it's going to be something that has never been seen before in her in our Horizon series. Now, the thing is, though, is I'm going to take this with a grain of salt. As you guys heard, never in a Horizon series. Now, the issue is, is it going to be never done in a Forza series or never been done in just Horizon? Because if it's never been done in just Horizon, maybe it could have been done in Forza Motorsport 6 or Forza Motorsport 5 or one of the other ones, which could include things like uh, the limousine in the next car pack, which, uh, it would be, that'd be a little bit lackluster, and I wouldn't be really appreciative of that, because, I mean, it feels like that they would just be rehashing old content and making a big deal out of it. But as well, though, there is also the rumor that there is the Hoonigan car pack, which has been released, which has been sort of leaked, which would include things like 10 blocks, uh, new Mustang that just came out, something like that, or uh, some other pin box cars, as well as just more drift cars and more rally cars in general, which it would be really cool if there was actually a uh, drift area. That would be an interesting update, like maybe they uh, go ahead and finally add maybe a new road or something like that, even though that would be more of an expansion setting, uh, so I'm not going to hold my breath on that. However, though, there was a leak rumor as well, saying that Forza Horizon 3 is going to have motorcycles and quad bikes. Now, again, I'm just I'm taking that one with a grain of salt and holding my breath on that one. As the thing is, though, is if you guys go ahead into your cockpit view, the animation for the view has never really changed. As you guys see, I'm going full force on that, and it only goes a certain amount of space and such, and it's just not great. They they haven't really invested a whole lot in the animations for cockpit view. So I don't know why they would go ahead and add animations for motorcycles and quad bikes when they don't really have the technology for it yet, uh, just to add it for a DLC pack. Now, the DLC pack, though, is it's going to be good, I, I, I hope, anyway. The last pack was probably one of the best car packs that we've seen in a long time, including cars such as the Aston Martin Vulcan. The Ford Interceptor, which honestly has probably been one of the best cars that ever been released into a Forza Horizon game, or a Forza game in general. Uh, everybody uses it. It's such a fun car to drive. Uh, and there's so many, like, good supercars, hypercars. My favorite car of this game was released in that car pack. And that is just insane. I mean, it should have been in there from the get-go. At least, that's what I think, anyway. And... It, they waited until a car pack, so it was honestly probably one of the best car packs this game has ever seen. Any Forza series has ever seen, for that matter. Not just this game, it was the only really car pack that this game has ever seen, besides the VIP car pack and the, uh, the race car launch car pack, which it was 100 times better than any of those car packs. Although, I guess you, you could... You could make a point for the VIP car pack containing things like Koenig Ziggs and Lamborghinis and such like that. Although I haven't really paid attention to what all was in that car pack. I just know I have those cars available to me. Uh, and also, though, the VIP thing, that costs a lot of money. I think that was like $30 or something like that. And you get like exclusive events and you get a car pack and stuff like that. Honestly, kind of not really worth it. But you also got the season pass when you bought the Ultimate Edition. Uh, so, really, overall, I think, though, that I still got a fairly decent deal buying the Ultimate Edition. But, anyway, though, motorbikes and quads and things like that, that would be an interesting update. Something that I don't think, really, Forza's been planning on doing is this game has been mostly about car racing. And recently, they have delved into other things, like, you know, they've added more trucks. Like, before, I feel like they only added, like, one or two trucks. 
Uh, they had like the Ford Raptor for a long time, but really that was just because the Ford Raptor was considered like so powerful and they, they almost needed to have it in the game as there were some truck people that were like really obsessed with it. So they went ahead and they added it in. And then they had a, um, a pack that came with a GMC Cyclone pickup truck. And then they started adding in vans and they've added all these weird vehicles into it. I think they even had a Hot Wheels car pack in Forza Motorsport 6. I didn't play it, but I feel like they did. So I have no clue on that one either. Which honestly, that is probably the stupidest car pack I think anybody could have made. I mean, that, that was... Unless they would have added, like, you know, the Hot Wheels Camaro edition. Which, they would have had to have done the interior and stuff like that and made it so that you... Because, honestly, that car was just a stock Camaro with Hot Wheels logos all over it. So, overall, that wasn't, like, a great car either. But... Now we're going to go off-road, I guess. I don't know. But, the thing is, though, is I could see them also adding in... Uh, motorcycles and dirt bikes into this game for the fact that there is a new series out there called Ride. Now, if you guys have, aren't aware of Ride, I mean, I haven't really played the game either. A lot of people have been calling it the Forza Motorsport of motorcycle games, as that's what it feels like. You know, you get to go ahead and race. Um, there's a lot of customization options. Uh, I'm not really sure how their painting works or anything like that, if they even have a painting set up. But... A lot of people are really enjoying Ride, and maybe Forza Motorsport is taking a hint at that, and they're going to go ahead and add, like, motorcycles and things like that with just in a car pack to see how people like it in Forza Motorsport series. Now, I'm not, I wouldn't be really a huge fan of that, because, I mean, I don't know how to ride a motorcycle. I've never ridden a motorcycle. I really want to learn how to ride a motorcycle, but the thing is, though, is in Forza, I want to drive cars. I want to drift. I want to race. I want to do things like that. I don't want to be falling off a motorcycle all the time, as I've noticed in a lot of those ride lines plays, that's what a lot of people do, is they spend half the time on the bike, half the time off the bike, lying on the ground. Ooh, there's a... Ooh. And we go off-road, and we're going to fail. Yep, we failed. Okay, but anyway, as I was saying, a lot of people spend not a lot of time on those motorcycles because they're a little bit harder to, to control. Now, I could see quad bikes since they added in, uh, like, the Polaris and stuff like that, and they've added in some buggies. But those buggies are honestly kind of big. Uh, now, the, the Polaris is a little bit smaller than the rest of them. So I could see quad bikes possibly, as I have seen, I used to work for a, uh, a place where they actually had an off-road course and all that. And essentially what would happen is there'd be people that would bring uh, those Polaris Rangers and stuff like that and Gators and all the kinds of different uh, utility vehicles as well as, you know, quads. And some of those quads are huge. I mean, they are much bigger than the, uh, like, the Polaris or a Gator or something like that. And it's insane because uh, there was, like, a restriction, like, you couldn't go over, like, 60 inches. And the only reason they had that rule is because uh, Geo Metro has a wheelbase of 62 inches, and they don't want people driving Geo Metros out on the uh, out on the course, as they wanted to leave it for dirt bikes and quad bikes and gators and things like that. Only what the hell? That guy just went off road for some reason. Okay, it's the same man. Then they have bad handling anyway. <laughs> anyway, okay. I already have max fans, Anna. Stop. Stop talking. Stop talking, okay? All right. Anyway, though, I, I mean, I could see it, possibly, as, you know, again, quad bikes, some quad bikes are quite neat. Wow, my game just sort of glitched right there. I don't know if you guys were able to see that over on YouTube, but you know what? I, oh, we got some cars here. I'm going to go ahead and take pictures of those and keep talking about these quad bikes, but I keep getting distracted by all the cars. <laughs> okay, so, but anyway, as I'm saying, though, those quad bikes can be quite large. I mean, in fact, they were people that had quad bikes that were bigger than a Geo Metro's wheelbase, and it's like, why? Why do you need that? They couldn't actually ride it on our trails because it was too big. Now, they got it on our trails legally, but, uh, because, you know, we, we weren't charging for it. It was, like, it was on public land, and it was just an internship and stuff like that. But the thing is, though, is like they were able to go ahead and get onto it. And 
I, I thought that was kind of messed up a little bit. So, anyway though, I mean, I could see them adding quad bikes, but I don't see them adding motorcycles. And I'm honestly am not going to get my hopes up for this. Now, it would be insane if, like, they added something cool. Now, I also heard, like, you know, I was watching uh, Slap Train's video on this very subject. And he was saying that, you know, it would be really cool if there was, like, an 18-wheeler or something like that in this game. Or some big trucks. Uh, it'd be interesting. Heck, who knows? Maybe they'll add a freaking drivable train. That'd be an interesting one. Maybe they'll make it since they have the train, you'll be able to actually go ahead and select train and you'll just be able to drive around on the tracks. Which would be kind of lame at the same time, but it'd be fun. Uh, for It'd be a good laugh for a little bit. Um, so, I don't know what they're going to do. And that's just sort of some speculation. I'm, I'm thinking they'll probably end up adding the limo, to be honest. And everybody's going to be pissed because they thought this was going to be so insane. But the limo's never been in Horizon. So, technically, they weren't lying. They always get a lot of hype. Uh, their hype man is very, very good at his job. I will say that. And they say, never been done in a Horizon game. And everybody automatically assumes it's never been done in Forza. And this is why we lead to articles about motorbikes in Forza Horizon 3. And that would just be weird. Ooh, did I get a drift tap? I think I got a drift tap. Uh, but I'm, I'm actually like really spinning out here. And anyway, though, I think that's pretty much it for that one. Now, as well, we are going to see the next car pack, which, as I was saying, you know, that's where the whole never been seen in a Horizon game before sort of stems. Is it going to be the Hoonigan car pack, though? Because uh, I guess, like, Ken Block's cars have technically never been in a Horizon game, although people paint them and all that sort of stuff. So that could be the case. Um, as well, there is also a Rocket Bunny Kit car that was supposed to be in the Hoonigan car pack, which is actually like, I think it's like a Dodge Challenger or Dodge Charger uh, Rocket Bunny kit for the Nissan 240SX, which I am currently in. And although, or the S14, I think it's the same. Ooh, we got to spin a prize. That's cool. But, um, so that would be an interesting thing to see. But who knows if that'll actually come true. And we spin out there. Uh, so... Who knows what all is going to actually happen with this. I'm really hoping they don't add something stupid to the game. I'm hoping it is actually awesome. I would, I, I mean, I can appreciate, I guess, a motorcycle or two in this game. Uh, I probably wouldn't really be caring too much about them as I'm a car person, really not a bike person. But that's beside the point. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and see what comes with it. Now, next week, though, there is going to be a clue thread as to what it will be. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and check that out on the Forza Motorsport forums. Uh, it'll probably be under the Forza Horizon 3 discussion thread. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and check it out. I'll leave the description to the Forza Horizon 3 discussion thread in the description below. Uh, and the poster should be Johnny Wanna. Uh, so just keep your eye out for that next week. I'm going to assume probably Monday. As well, there is a Forza-thon event that is about to start. I'm wondering how long that has left. It has five hours left. I will be going ahead and... Uh, doing that later on today as well and posting that up on YouTube. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and check it out there. Now, as well, last update that we got, the October 14th update, came about three weeks after the past one. Now, October 14th to November 2nd is about two weeks. And the last one came technically from the official release, which was the 27th. It was a little bit over two weeks as well. So I'm almost wondering if the next update is going to release a new batch of Horizon Edition cards, which would be awesome. So what I am going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and level up a bunch of times so that we can go ahead and do a bunch of spins for potentially new Horizon Edition cards with the next update. Or maybe they're only going to do updates for the Horizon Edition cars in the middle of the month. Now, there's probably also going to be some performance issues and things like that, bug, bug patches, things like that that are going to come in the update. But we don't know about those yet. So we're going to go ahead and wait for that. This is just a speculation video, and on November 2nd, I will be going ahead and doing another video on the full release of the uh, update. So you guys can go ahead and stay tuned for that. And if you guys like the video, go ahead and make sure to smash that like button down below for us, because you already know your support is so greatly appreciated, because right now, I think we're sitting at 131 subscribers, guys. And it's just been a little over a month now since I started making these videos. Uh, as well, guys, go ahead and hit subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Peace out. Bye.